Let me start out by saying that because this video is part 2, or version 2.0 if you will, I won't be covering everything in as much detail as I did in part 1. If you'd like more specifics, you might want to check out the previous video. Basically what I'm doing in this video and part 1 is attempting to build a rotary system that displaces liquid in such a way as to create an imbalance by redistributing the liquid closer to the center of the rotor on one side and further away on the other. So the device makes use of gravity and leverage, which if done properly, should induce rotation. You can clearly see that this design displaces the liquid in such a way as to make one side imbalanced. Even though both of the carts holding the water are exactly the same weight and contain the exact same amount of liquid. So the science behind it is sound. It's simply a matter of adjusting the principles behind this until you achieve rotation. Of course this concept gave me another idea to try which involves magnets, which will probably take shape in my next video. So stay tuned. Now I've had a few people ask me why I'm wasting my time working on gravity wheels lately. First, if you're doing something you enjoy, it's never a waste of time. Secondly, Einstein was once asked how it felt to be the smartest man alive. Einstein replied, I don't know, you'll have to ask Nikola Tesla. Why is that relevant? Because Tesla once said, it is possible and even probable that there will be, in time, other resources of energy opened up, of which we have no knowledge now. We may even find ways of applying forces such as magnetism or gravity for driving machinery without using other means. That doesn't mean it will be easy, but if Nikola Tesla believes it's possible to build a gravity wheel, then as far as I'm concerned, that settles it. If that doesn't settle it for you, I'd suggest you spend a little time reading about Nikola Tesla. Regardless, when I was working on my previous version of the liquid gravity wheel, I was already redesigning it into what you see here. These are the initial drafts I did of the parts in Tinkercad, which I then imported to Cura to format them for my 3D printer. Most of the parts I've designed take several hours to print. Here's a look at the process in a more rapid progression. I'm printing with a Creality 10S. Since I've learned how to use the printer and the software, it's really a simple matter of taking a few minutes to design something. And then I'm up and running with the printer creating a physical part right after I've designed it. So the number of things you can create are as limitless as your imagination. I decided to try this design with three arm arrangements and then four, but not to go beyond that for testing, simply because the results were so similar to version one of the water wheel that it's reasonable to assume that the altered design did not solve the problem I was having in part one, which is another reason I'm thinking of adding magnets to the design. So as always, I will keep moving forward, adjusting my thinking, trying new things, and share what I learn and discover. Thanks for watching do great things.